mixtape, 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 right? Where's my mixtape people at? You don't know, you don't know. You, you don't know. You, you're like a Dropbox to an iTunes playlist. I love you. Look this. A CD? Okay, all right, all right. But the mixtape was the stuff, man, right? That was a science. A whole Saturday afternoon, you got your CDs all stacked up right there. Your finger on the play record button. You're like, I want to put, I'll make love to my boys to men, but that's a side tune cut. That's aggressive. You call the DJ and like, play this song, I'm making a mixtape. Don't talk over the intro, bro. Mixtape. I once had a girl making a mixtape. Uh, this girl, she made a mixtape. She goes, I started this mixtape off with the most romantic song in the world. Um, the first song on it is, oh my gosh, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. I was like, uh, you know what that song was about, right? She was like, I saw Walt Eric Clapton's son climbed a hotel trellis, fell down and died, and now he's going to see his son in heaven. And she goes, oh my god, that is so much more romantic. <laughs> I almost didn't date her for two and a half years, bro. <laughs> I almost didn't know her. Mixed it. Might have probably won't have more. No, I'm not on the board study this for a living. I, uh, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, the mixtape, my best mixtape story, I can tell you guys, because we're all close and I don't live here, you'd appreciate it because you're a sexual deviant. My best mixtape story, my, my best mixtape story is uh, first time I ever had sex. I can go into it right now, right? So first time I ever had sex with a woman. Uh, I'm dating this girl in high school and she called me and she goes, hey, I'm house sitting tonight. I want you to come over, I want to have sex with you. And I had never done it, but I could pick up solid blues. So. <laughs> So I got this mixtape I've been making for her out. I got the mixtape, and then I got some homegrown chocolate and a Yankee candle, sandalwood, pro tip, bro. And then I go over to her house, I'm sitting on the couch, my mixtape is playing right there, hitting all the hits. And then there's a moment where we started having uh, sex. And then, it, have you guys, you guys have all, have you ever had sex here, pretty much? From the most, uh, uh, this stuff? The, like, the, <laughs> I'm nervous about it. Has anybody not ever known? Has anybody not? Okay, okay, a couple, okay, yeah, a couple. If you have it, you should have, like, it's fun, it's a blast. Like, put it on the agenda. I don't know if they, I don't know if they offer it, like, as an amenity in the hotel rooms, but. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a room, so, but, yeah, like, within the week, it's fun. So, so, anyway, so, me and this girl were having, like, if this was her, it wasn't this skinny, but the height's about right. And I'm having, like, don't worry, I'm not gonna bang the microphone balls or don't worry, that's. That's the 9.30 show. So, we're having the sex right here. And my mixtape is playing. First time I'm having sex, mixtape is playing. The song that comes on, Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What? What? The first time? I didn't make it through the whole song, but... I knew what it was because I heard the guitar chords. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited for this song. And if you haven't heard it, all the lyrics are perfect for sex. <laughs> yeah, because like the first line, like, what I got, you got to give it to your mama. I'm like, I'm getting it to my mama. This is amazing. And then, well, not my mom, my mama. Very, very, two very different things. Two very different things. And then the next line, what I got, you got to give it to your papa, which threw me off. I was like, what? And then it was, what I got, you got to give it to your doctor, which was really messed up. But it was good, because then I started thinking more about the song than the sex, and it helped me last longer. And then... <laughs> And he goes, do a little dance, then you drink a little water. And the next line, oh my gosh. What I got you gotta get up, put it in ya. I was done. And um I, 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 like, I, was, I can make it almost to the second chorus now. Like I'm really getting like progressively better as I get older. I, you should try it, man. Try it, yeah, yeah. I here's the thing, just don't do the European dance remix. There's a lot of expectations. It's like, is that 13 minutes? <laughs> I've had a lot of I've had a lot of adventures. I've lived a pretty good life, full life. I've, I've, I, I recently climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I I once snorkeled the South China Sea. But to this day, losing my virginity and getting away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, single greatest accomplishment. Single greatest, as a man, single best thing I've ever done. Nothing will ever top that. Um, I recently had a, some of y'all can associate. This is going to go more or less towards you guys and more towards this side of the house, I think. I recently had a pretty big milestone birthday a couple weeks ago. Uh, and it's not the number that was a milestone, it was what happens on this milestone birthday. There's a birthday uh, as a man that you have where if you get a physical every year, 
it becomes like a birthday surprise physical. <laughs> Right, there's a, some of y'all have been there, some of you guys, you haven't been there yet, you guys, there's a, there, you've been there? All right, well, probably just in your free time, but he's, been, he's like, I home test, bro. Um, <laughs> but there's this one, there's a, there's, a, there's a birthday you hit where if you get physicals, you have to, they start doing the, the, the move on you, and, and I was nervous about it, because I'd never had that happen once in Mexico, to be honest, but, um, <laughs> And if I'm honest, I paid for it, but in my defense, I don't know the language. So I was, and I was nervous about this because I go to a female doctor, Dr. Debra. I've been going to her for 13 years, and she has taken care of me. She's a professional, but I was not ready to take our relationship to that next level yet. Like, I almost called Kaiser Permanente and was like, can I switch doctors, please? Give me a dude with small hands that can keep a secret. That'd be great. But I didn't, I didn't. I said, you know what, Dr. Deborah's a pro. I'm gonna go see Dr. Deborah. I'm gonna do this. She's a pro. I'm just a patient. We're gonna do this. It's just medical. It's all good. And so like a month before, a month before I went in, I would wake up every morning and do like 30 squats, right? I would try to stretch. Just to catch. I didn't want it to be a struggle, right? I don't want to be like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I wanted it to kind of be smooth. Like I didn't want like an arrowhead coming out either. Like I wanted it to be, you know, smooth. I also didn't want to do too many because I didn't want her to be like, well, someone was a theater major. So it was like it was a fine line. And then, then I went into her office and I was sitting on the table right here and, I, and I'm nervous. my heart was beating. I was like, shit, I got now. Like it was hot, my heart was beating. It was like, it was like going on a first date. Like I was all worked up for it, right? After I made the appointment, I was worked up for it because I don't know what the move is on this particular visit. Like I don't know if I make the move or if she makes the first move. Like I don't know if she cracks open some lines or some Luther Vandross on the radio. Like I don't know. I don't know if it's like a sneak attack and I'm leaving. Like, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> You're good, you're good, you're good, you're healthy. I don't know. So I'm sitting on the table and she's like checking me through my heart, my eyes, my ears. And then she goes, okay, you feel healthy? I said, I feel really healthy, Dr. Gubber. She goes, good, I think you're done. I was like, I, I don't think we're done. <laughs> like I hadn't really thought about this moment for a long time. Like I hadn't worked on this moment. And she goes, is there anything else I didn't check? I was like, you should read the books. I think you have to. And she goes, oh no, if you feel healthy, you seem like there's no, there's no problem with the prostate, you can go, we don't have to do that procedure. And I was so depressed when I left. <laughs> I was so sick as you worked up to it, right? Like, I'm gonna do it. And I worked up to it, I was so sad when I left. I was, it was like when you paid all that money at senior prom, but you didn't get any action on limousine, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think she's seen other patients, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm nervous about it. You know, I said I wasn't going to get, uh, you know, too controversial tonight. I don't think I have. I don't get into, like, uh, when I'm, I don't get into politics or religion. I guess you guys know that. I don't do that. It's too controversial, right? Who wants to hear about politics or religion? No one does. Well, it's just the one person back there. He's the one Trump supporter. You say it! I, uh, but I don't do it, man. I, because, A, y'all don't care what I have to say about it. B, I am so misinformed. So, I am. I don't watch the news. I don't go to church. I was home college, so <laughs> don't, don't laugh at that. Dude. That was ten amazing for three years. You shut your mouth. I slept with my whole graduating class. Did you, university boy? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I slept my whole class. I, I don't. I just. I, I don't get into it. Like I don't watch. I don't watch the, the news. Is I don't like the news. And I remember. Here's when I stopped watching the news. Three and a half years ago, I'm on the road. I'm doing a show in Santa Barbara, California. I got done with the show. This is where I stopped looking. News is a news source. So I'm sitting there. I was staying at a really nice place. Cause uh, uh, there's a motel five. No, we are at motel six. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, cause that's where I stay when I travel. Six or above. Super eight sometimes. Double tree? No, no, that's two. That's up and comer. Screw you, double tree. So I'm at Motel 6, and uh, I don't want to brag, but they left the light on for me. They do that to scare with the cockroaches. I don't know if you know that. It's just like, oh, you got an ad slogan. It's just kind of their policy. And the news guy comes on, and he goes, top story today, the Coast Guard has just issued a warning that sharks have been spotted in the ocean waters off the coast of Santa Barbara. And I was like, but that's where the sharks are supposed to be. Like, that's not news, that's science. I saw the movies. Like, if I went to the beach and my lifeguard stopped me, he was like, dude, don't go in the water today, bro. Someone saw a pack of rabbit cheetahs in the riptide. Like, what? There's cheetahs in the ocean? I don't expect that. That should be on the news. Or like, if I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm shocked, I look down the aisle, there's a hammerhead shark sitting through throw pillows. Holy shit, there's hammerheads in Bed Bath & Beyond. 
news items. You know, I said I wasn't going to get controversial, but I'll say this before I leave. Um, I hate Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> I know, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I know it's going to divide the room, usually along gender lines, but I hate Bed Bath & Beyond. I've never even been in the store. I just hate the day I'm in. I don't need desk work when I shop. Bad stuff in your bath bedroom. Bad stuff in your bathroom. What's beyond? Like, beyond my bedroom and bathroom, that's my hallway. Like, is there a whole section of hallway items? And then you get that flyer every week that the 20% off at Bed Bath & Beyond. And the font is just like, more like the, bed, the, the beyond is so like, oh, oh. Just don't go beyond the duvet covers. It's gnarly or the seventh level of hell. I hate Bed Bath. And it's competitor, linens and things. And things? What kind of lazy naming committee was that? I just wasn't the litters and things. I got hungry. I said, you guys have cheeseburgers. They said, we don't. I said, that's a thing. That's on you guys. I don't need desk work when I go shopping. I'm a dude, right? Like, like that's why I miss Toys R Us. If I needed a toy, I knew Toys are them by their name. I knew what I was getting, right? That's why I don't get my sporting goods at Dick's. I don't know what to sell it. I'm not going to risk it. That's why my cable service provider does not go by the name of Cox. <laughs> I don't know what they're broadcasting, but I'm gonna risk it. Last Thursday, I went to a BJ's restaurant. I left very disappointed. Yeah. Thank you very much, you guys. My name's John Bryan. Have a great night. Enjoy your headliners.